Hello, so today we're going to be talking about the Meraki MSP features that we have for you as a partner to be able to manage all your customers in one single dashboard. First of all, what we see here is our MSP dashboard. This is our portal that you can get as soon as you're an administrator of two or more organizations. So what we hear, what we see is here all my clients. In this case, I have three clients called subscription EA and Meraki Launchpad, but say you can have, you know, uh, the shop magazine, the bank, and also the bakery, and then have as many customers as you want in each of your organizations. Um, the cool thing about here is that you can see, uh, very, very importantly, when is the expiration date of each of your customers, which license model they're using, and also how many devices they have uh, connected. In our case, for example, these two organizations, they bought our Meraki devices, but they are, they have them all turned off, like shut down. And here we have a lot of devices, but we see that there are some problems, for example, in uh, the Wi-Fi piece um, and everything. So afterwards, we can also get a drill done about the networks. So remember, the organization is each of our customers, whereas network each, each of the sites of our customers. So we can have a farther drill down and understand how many sites they have and the status of each device. All right, let's now get into one organization, which in this case is the Meraki Launchpad. And here we can see a farther view of this customer. In this customer, for example, he has 39 app links and we can see that one is not uh, connecting. So for example, we have a cellular backup that it's not connecting properly, but all the rest is acting fine in terms of switches, access points, sensors, and cellular gateways, everything seems all right. And we have a breakdown of all the networks inside this organization. Another thing we can see is uh, we have a organization alerts. So we can see the alerts that are happening for the whole customer. So for example, for this customer over the past week, we had one warning alert, which was in the network data center. And the problem was about MTP. So some sort of time problem in there. And it was with one of our catalyst switches that we can monitor and manage from our dashboard. Another thing we have that's quite interesting in terms of like MSP reporting for our customers is the uh, summary report in which I can get the information over the past month and see. So for example, if there were any anomalies, who are our clients that use our networks the most? In this case, is this codec. Um, these are basically video endpoints that uh, use a lot of um, bandwidth. And also we can get, uh, you know, uh, SSIDs that get used a lot, devices that get used a lot, our top manufacturers, operating systems, as well as applications. We, in Meraki, we use a lot of WebEx, and therefore uh, what we see here is that our top application is voice um, and video conferencing. Okay, now let's get drilled down to, like, device by device. So... Uh, right now, we have a new feature called Assurance in which we can englobe, let's say, collapse or summarize all um, the how our network is performing uh, in terms of wireless, wireless as well as remote, remote meaning the people who connect by a client VPN, for example. So our network is performing pretty okay over the past day. And if I were to change it for the last week, it seems that in general, we are performing quite okay uh, in general. So I see that I have some maybe wireless issues and they're mostly uh, due to authentication issues. Okay, but let's go ahead and get even more information by product. In the wireless, we can see we have what we call Wi-Fi health. And in Wi-Fi health, I can see the main problems that we get in terms of Wi-Fi. So for example, in terms of connection, connection, I can see we have a pretty good time to connection. So it's always below five seconds. Roaming time is also pretty good. It's below three seconds. 
Um, the performance health also quite good. Latency is not too high. Packet loss is not too high. And I see that, well, in terms of service health, that means radio server, or DHCP server, or DNA server, everything is okay. Another thing I can see from here is the health, i.e. what's the health of my devices and everything is working well. I can see that I have some devices that are having problems and always the problem is authentication, i.e. maybe they don't have the right password and that's why they're trying the same password again and again. And we are, of course, not allowing them to get in. And the last thing in Wi-Fi that it's quite interesting is that I can check in a, in a glance um, when I have a problem. So for example, I have this client, Marie Curie, who is having problems accessing my uh, access point. And so I can check immediately that the problem is because the radio server is not responding. And then here's our evidence. Every time I'm trying to contact this radio server, uh, it's just not replying, and here are some recommendations to fix that problem. So you, as a partner, as an MSP, it's very easy to fix those issues whenever you have some Wi-Fi problems or your customer is telling you that they are having Wi-Fi problems. Same thing now with the switches. So if we were to go to switches, I can see here um, the status of my switches, which ones are having problems, connectivity. For example, we had some problems in this timeline because we had a gateway that was disabled and then the alerts and the reason why. So for example, we had power down, VLAN, or it was just basically unreachable. And then for the MX, MX is our firewall and SD1 appliance. We can go to appliance status and see the status of my hardware. So, for example, if I were to have a high availability, I can see the status both from my active MX as well as my standby MX. I can see here that I have high one packet loss, right? So that's very interesting to know for myself. And what's the utilization of my one one and one two if I were to be using two ones at the same time to be able to do SD1. Then I have information uh, related to SD1. So whenever we want to connect different sites with each other, so for example, I were to have a headquarter and then I have some remote sites and I connect them to the headquarter, um, I can see here the VPN status. So in this organization, San Francisco is our headquarters, i.e. most of our sites should be connected to San Francisco. And I can see that I have 14 site-to-site -site peers um, with San Jose, Sydney, London, New York, Toronto. And for example, um, the Secure Connect ones are not working as expected because I have a basically 0% connectivity in here. And I can also see the uplink decisions I've been doing due to the SD1 policy that I have applied. For example, I see that uh, when L L Toronto was trying to reach out by basically contacting me in um, in San Francisco, uh, they chose to use 1.1. One -one. Why? Because uh, it's performance-based, i.e. 1.1 one -one has a good speed, and so we're not going to fail over. But if 1.1 one -one was not to meet that specified speed, we will fail over to 1.2 to always guarantee the best speed. And then lastly, we have the security center, which is very interesting when we have the security policies enabled. So for example, when we have a malware protection enabled and also IPS, IDS, I can see here all the problems that I've been getting over the past few weeks. And so I can see the name, I can see the person who was affected. In this case, it's just one man called George. And he is really <laughs> having a lot of, he had 2,000, let's say, malware events and all the types of threats that have been hitting Mr. George and from which country they're coming from. So I can see they're coming from China, from Ukraine, Russia, US, Switzerland. And then if I want to get more information into the thread, I can always click into it. And then I can also look it up on VirusTotal and it will show me the reason why this is, let's say, tag as a thread and understand a bit more information and background information about it. 
So those were the, I'd say, main features that we can get when we are an MSP um, and we want to basically correlate that everything is working fine in my full stack. So that meaning Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi MR, MS switches, and MX for the security and SD1. But of course, we have many, many, many other features that I haven't covered in this video because I want to make this as short as possible. But remember that we also have our IoT portfolio as well as MDM portfolio, and we can have many more things enable in our Meraki dashboard. So that's it for today. I will close this out. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to our team.